Hello friends, today I am very happy to explore with you the magical story of the coconut, a famous fruit from the tropics. From the time coconuts are planted and cared for until harvested, it takes more than 2,000 days of dedication from farmers. In every drop of coconut water, every piece of coconut rice is both diligence and love for the land. Today, I visited a coastal countryside famous for its lush coconut gardens. The air mixed with the fragrant coconut scent made me feel extremely relaxed. Coconut is not only the main crop of the region, but also closely associated with the lives of the people here. Choosing coconut varieties is very important. You must choose coconut varieties with high yield good disease resistance and suitable for the climatic conditions of the region. After choosing the variety, preparing the soil is an important step. The soil must be loosened and ploughed carefully to create good ventilation and drainage. The distance between coconut trees is also very important. Normally, this distance is from 6 to 8 metres, so that the tree has enough space to develop its canopy and roots. During the first six months, coconut trees need special care. Applying organic fertilizer or using salt to fertilize plants to replace fertilizers is also a way to help plants grow well and prevent pests and diseases. This stage is also an important time to prune unnecessary leaves and shoots. Helps plants concentrate nutrients for a healthy stem and root growth. Harvest time needs to ensure the coconut reaches maturity to have the best quality of water and rice. This is the time when all the care and effort of farmers over the years pays off. Look at them, their excitement and many years of experience make the job simple. Harvesting must be done quickly but carefully to ensure high yields and good quality coconuts. Coconuts were loaded onto the car, opening a new journey. It is a long journey of exporting to the world, bringing with it the flavours of the homeland. After harvesting, the fresh coconuts are transported to the processing plant. Here, workers check each coconut and remove those that do not meet standards. Coconuts are fed into an automatic conveyor system to move to the shelling area. Here, specialised shelling machines operate continuously with sharp blades and skillful adjustments of workers each layer of hard outer shell is peeled off quickly. This hard outer shell is called coconut fibre. With high carbon content and good flammability, coconut fibre is an ideal raw material for bioenergy production. To use coconut fibre as fuel, it must be crushed and dried completely. The purpose is to reduce moisture, improve flammability and thermal efficiency. Coconut fibre can be pyrolyzed in an oxygen deficient environment to create biocar. This process not only generates heat energy, but also produces biocar, a higher value fuel. The shelled coconut enters the area to extract fresh coconut water. After the coconut is split in half to get the coconut water inside the coconut meat will be separated. Coconut water is used as a natural beverage rich in minerals, often popular in healthy diets. The coconut meat is washed to ensure that no dirt or bacteria sticks to it during processing. The separated coconut meat will be ground to prepare for the extraction process. The grinding process helps break down the oil cells in coconut meat, making it easier to separate the juice. Finely ground coconut meat is mixed with warm water in a certain ratio usually about one to one. The first layer of coconut milk extracted is called thick coconut milk, usually has the highest fat content. For further extraction, the coconut meat can be soaked again in warm water and squeezed a second time to get more thin coconut milk. Then, coconut milk is packed into boxes. Packaged products can be stored in cool conditions to maintain quality for a long period of time. 